All right, welcome to Stony Pass. Uh, this is where most people get off in a Silverton, but we've been there, done that. So we're gonna just grab a snack here. And uh, it was a really cool section coming through there. Not as much smoke today, so pretty happy. But yeah, we are on the Colorado Trail and the CDT Trail. So we're gonna go into this little parking lot area grab some grubbage and uh i think we got to climb after this so we'll see what's up all right all right peace down the mountain. Ooh, I'm gonna glissade right here, boys. All right, so, oh wow, okay. So I tried to get it on video, but the GoPro doesn't pick up stuff like that and I wasn't, I really didn't wanna startle the elk and whatnot, but gotta see a family of elk. First, uh, coming up, one of the first passes, we saw about 50 uh, way down the valley, but then they, these ones, we were able to, get close enough to see the mama uh, and I'm assuming the papa elk and then the baby elk so been a good birthday been able to see some cool cool stuff so far it's been pretty sweet yeah buddy To you, they might just be moving dots because the GoPro doesn't really have good getting in on the detail. But for our eyes, we're pretty close to some elk. There he is. Oh, and the baby. Dude, they found the baby. You see him? It's kind of not fair what they're doing to that baby right now though. He's been having to run up and down mountains all day. I know. <laughs> but look how gangly he is. Like his body's like... He's a small guy. And um, make some good climbing today. Not crazy long, but steep, steep ones. So we'll see where we get to today, but I think the consensus so far is uh, one more good mountain climb and then back down and we'll see where that puts us. All right, all right. Another beautiful day out here. Well, still a beautiful day out here. Just did another uh, another one of our climbs to 12,900 feet. Round uh, wasn't named anything. Uh, just called High Point. 
uh, around mile 958. And um, I didn't get the video of it back there, but uh, it was a really beautiful valley. I stopped and there was a uh, surprise water just flowing out that I chugged some. So um, yeah, so I didn't get the get the viewage, but it was uh, might have been one of our last really big views of the San Juan Mountains. I don't know for certain certain because I haven't really gone forward on my maps too much, but it was it was beautiful. So we're gonna run about two and a half miles down into this valley, grab some water, and uh, we might try to just push up the next climb a little bit, about 500 feet of elevation to Carson Saddle, I believe. Carson Saddle parking lot, and just maybe dry camp there. So that gives us a little bit of leeway tomorrow with the miles into uh, Lake City. So. We'll see how the rest of the day treats. Let's see where we get. Ain't no thing. Oh, this is a pretty cool view too though. Oh, and look at what the trail turns into. I keep forgetting to get some good stuff for this, but sometimes the trail turns into a little bit of a river and sometimes it turns into a little bit of a mud field and snow field and every single type of field you can think of all right all right well once again we're dirt road walking but uh this dirt road actually has symbols cdt on one side colorado on the other and uh it's got some good views too so i think it's only like 0.2 or 0.3 to carson Carson saddle parking. I think that's where we're gonna camp for the night. Oh, yeah It's got a great day. I'll get some more video once we get to camp But the birthday's been awesome Couldn't ask for one better All right, peace. All right. All right. All right Morning of June 7th and uh, We're leaving that one valley behind with the snow-capped ridges and uh, we're going up and over into, let's see what kind of valley we got. Oh yeah. Oh, cruising miles. Man, oh man. And we are at the high point of the CDT so far. We're at 13,200. 59 feet. Maybe the sign will tell you instead of me trying to remember numbers and such. Oh, it will tell you. It will tell you. Thirteen thousand two hundred seventy-one, baby. Woo! Yeah, buddy. First 13er, brother. First 13er. And uh, looks like we go down into this valley. And we got about 16 miles to this place we can hitch in a lake city. And just looking at the terrain, it looks, it looks cruisy. So, once again, once again, we're at the high point. And we go northbound. Peace. Check out where the Colorado Trail is. Oh. Underneath a lot of snow. Alright, peace. Hey, hey, about four miles to a <clears throat> little yurt type thing. But uh, definitely seems like the terrain's starting to change up. Not really snow-capped peaks as much anymore, but these green, green rolling hills. And uh, yeah, it's starting to become uh, summertime in Colorado. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna put this away.
because this downhill is steep and uh, I don't want to fall down, <coughs> fall down a rock face. So there we go. All right, peace. So pretty cool, about mile 970, a little bit off trail. You got this yurt, Colorado Trail Memorial Yurt. Voila. Oh, wow. Very cool. Very cool. It's actually up and running. Does the sink run? No, I didn't I didn't think so. I did not think so. But pretty cool spot, guys. Um we got even a hiker log book. All right, I'm gonna keep exploring, guys. Wonder where the boys are at. I haven't seen them. Oh, I just see 50. Still about 0.2 away from here. But, uh, yeah. I'm gonna explore this year, guys. It's cool, cool stuff. Cool, cool stuff, man. Oh, where did I put the lock? Oh, I got it. Oh, that had echo too. Nice. Noise. So yeah, nice to hear it, guys. Right. Here we go. So about a mile and a half outside of the yurt. And um really nice views for as far as I can see and uh yeah back on a dirt road but it's Colorado dirt road so we'll take it oh and by the way for uh northbounders on the CDT if you're going to the yurt the water on the map says it's below the yurt but when they say below they mean the water you cross in that little valley so before you start climbing up to the yurt, get yourself some water. Because we made that mistake and uh, now we're pushing these eight and a half miles on a liter of water a piece. So don't make the same mistake we did. But it should be good. Easy terrain. Ain't no thing. Ain't no thing. All right. See you, uh, see you soon. All right, all right about um two more miles ish until we hit spring creek pass trailhead slash highway 149 and um hopefully try to get a hitch from there into bear wait lake city lake city and um yeah funny it's named after a creek when uh when it's one of the driest sections we've had so far it's hot, it's steamy, got a sip of water left, and uh, gonna be relying on the, relying, wow, couldn't even say it, relying on the good nature of strangers to keep me hydrated by giving us a hitch in the town. So, already throwing the good jujus out there, good karma. All right, about two more miles left. Get in there by about 3.30. All right, peace. All right, well, welcome to, uh, Spring Creek Trailhead. 
Colorado Trail, CDT, and um, the sign's up there. So I'll go get that in a second. But first, I'm gonna use, uh, make use of their beautiful facilities here. They're beautiful, beautiful facilities. All right, so I'll log back on in a second. All right, I told you I'd be back. Um, here's the information board with everything, Spring Creek Pass. And we are here, Continental Divide. We're going this way. Down to this trail. And here's some more information, the Great Divide. Straddling the spine of west, the Western Hemisphere. It goes all the way from Alaska through the Rockies. There's Spring Creek Pass. Uh, Sierra Madre. Keep going, keep going. Andes, 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 all the way down. Very cool. First day. Patrick, uh, he's still alive and kicking. He's going all the way to Canada, baby. We got Fiddy over there, and uh, DB's coming down somewhere. So, end of this segment. We'll uh, see you on the next one. Peace.